Okay guys, now we are doing an example of rule of differentiation. The first, the first example says we must evaluate dx into x cubed minus 3 the whole square. I'm going to write it here, the solution of the first, of which is here, dx into x cubed minus 3 the whole square. The first step that you need to do here is to distribute this this inside equation of which is going to be dx into x cubed minus 3 x cubed minus 3 and remember when you arrive here we need to multiply this to here and this to here again this to here and this to here Meaning when we multiply this accordingly, we're going to get dx into x times x cubed times x cubed is equal to x to the power 6. How do I get x to the power 6? I said, remember rule of exponent, it says m n is equal to a to the power n plus m meaning our a our a a is x x our m n is 3 and 3 then if the if the pieces are the same at the exponent we did x we get 6 then from there i say 3 x 3 x cube my times negative 3 and x cube again times negative 3 it give us negative 6x cubed then negative, negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9 then now we distribute dx of which is gonna be dx into x minus 6 dx into x plus 9 dx plus 9dx into 1 meaning how do I get this all of this this all I said remember to the basic that says k f of x where our f of x is a function and k is a constant constant can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to infinity. And our f of x is an equation. It can be x squared, x, x cubed, and x to the power 5. Then here I said to simplify this, we take this k outside. Then we are left with the x into f of x. f of x. This is the same as this is the same as this. It's the same as this. Meaning after this, we we are now differentiating. And remember when we are differentiating, we say it, we say it when you arrive here, we put it equals. To, when you put it equals, then you say it, negative six times one, we have one here. We have one here, negative six times one is 6 and 6 minus 1 is x to the power 6 minus 1 of which is, is going to give us 5 then again negative 6 negative 6 negative 6 into 3 times 1 we have 1 here 3 times 1 is 3 3 x 3 minus 1 3 minus 1, so that give us 2, then we have 2 here. Then again, 9 plus 9. Plus 9 into 1 times 1. We don't have x here. Our x is 0, of which it is 1. Meaning any, when you are differentiating any constant, our answer is zero, then we are gonna get zero here. I did explain it on the rules of differentiation. Then after this, we're gonna say 6x to the power 5. 
six x to the power five, then negative six times three is negative eighteen, negative eighteen x square, nine times zero. We are gonna left with this is zero. Then this is our answer for number A. Number one. Then number two said find dy over dx given this. I'm gonna take our question again to here. I'm gonna erase this. Our question says d over dx into 3 the whole root x to the power 5. Then again here we are we're gonna use the the rules of of sat of which remember a is equals to a to the power 1 over 2 of which here is 2 here is 1 and x to the power n and m is going to give us x to the power n over m meaning we always start with this to be our numerator and this to be our denominator of our exponent we're gonna apply the very same rule here on this three on this the root cube the cube root x to the power five. When you arrive here, we're gonna we're going to say d over dx squares to x to the power five over three. Of which when we dif of which when we differentiate this, remember we have one here. And is five times five over three times one is gonna give us five over three x five over three minus one is gonna give us two over three. This is our answer. Remember that you this is your question. Your first step is this one. After this one, you just write equal, then your answer. If it needs your simplification, you can also simplify it. But they didn't say it, you must simplify it. Then now we are doing number three. Number three said evaluate dy dx if y is plus four root x minus x cubed over nine. <laughs> this equation, they say we must get dy over dx into actually our final dy over dx into 4 and then remember that this is going to be 1 over 2 since x since x this is 1 this is 2 of which is to x to the power 1 over 2 it's the same as this one. So we just simplify it to one over two, and when we take this to the to be the, our denominator, and I remember that x to the power negative one is equal to one over x, of which here we have one, one. When we take this to be our numerator, it become our exponent become negative. We're gonna apply this rule again. Meaning, we're going to move this to be our numerator, which is going to be 4 x to the power negative 1 over 2. Then we have negative x cubed over 9. This, we're going to change this to be, to be visible, of which is going to be 1 over 9. 1 over 9 x cube this is the same as s cube over 9 so we come and say now we are differentiating remember when we are differentiating we take the exponent and, and multiply the base 
and after that we minus the exponent with negative one. So we're gonna say we're gonna say equals to negative one, negative one over two times one over four of which is gonna give us negative one over two times four is gonna give us negative two x negative one over two negative one over two minus one is gonna give us one point five negative one point five of which is negative three over two then here is one is negative one over nine times three Actually, 3 over times 3 times 1 over 9 is going to give us times 1 over 9 going to give us negative 1 over 3 and minus 1 is going to give us x to the power squared. Then remember that we don't write our answer with a negative exponent. We need to change this negative 3 over 2 to be our exponent to be our positive exponent of which is going to be negative 2 the whole we take this to be to make negative 3 over 2 to be positive we take this x to be downwards of which is going to be 3 over 2 and this is the same as x into 3 over 2 then again this square this is our answer then we come to number four number four says evaluate d into 6x plus 5 the whole divided by 3x squared i'm gonna do number four again here that says i'm gonna take erase this When we erase, after erasing, we have these four, we're given this dx into 6x plus 5, the whole 3x squared. The first step that you need to do here is to separate this thing accordingly, of which is going to be dx into 6 over 3x 3x square x plus 5 over 3x square but to this term we're gonna cancel x and x1 of which we're gonna be left with this We're going to be left with this one. Then from there on, we distribute. We distribute is going to be dx into 6 over 3x. But remember that for us to differentiate, we need to take our x to be our, num to be our numerator, of which is going to be... 6 over 3 x to the power negative 1 plus, plus d dx 5 over 3 x squared again we need to take this x again to be our numerator meaning it's going to be 5 x negative 2 then from there on we are taking out the constant and differentiate I'm gonna say we have 6 over 3 dx x to the power negative 1 plus 5 over 3 dx 
x to the power negative 2. Then c over 3 is 2, it's 2 into. Here we have 1. Remember, again, here we have 1. So since we have 1, it's going to be negative 1 times 1, it's going to be negative 1. Of which is going to be negative x. When you minus here, negative 1, it's going to be negative 2. And again, plus 5 over 3. 5 over, 5 over 3 into negative 2 times 2 times 1 is negative 2x negative 1 is negative 3 then from there on we simplify we're gonna get negative 2 we're gonna get negative 2 over x square we're gonna write our 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 x to the power negative 2 to be x to the power 2 where we are making our exponent to be positive where it's going to be like this again this is going to be negative 5 over 3 negative 5 over 3 times 2 is going to give us negative 10 over 3 negative 10 over 3 I'll take this to, to the bottom gonna give us x to the power negative 3 x to the power 3 this is our final answer thank you guys for watching our video